Good morning. Today is the 29th of July. I am at the San Jose Dirigen Station at the Caltrain Electric Train Tour event, checking out the new electric trains that will be serving on the Caltrain Corridor in the near future. Built by Statler in the state of Utah, these new electric multiple units consist of seven double-decker coaches, one more coach longer than the longest of the current trains operating on the network. Walking inside, the interior of these trains look very modern and clean, being that this was the first day that the public was allowed on these trains. The interior reminds me a lot of the ERAR trains operating up in Antioch. Being that those trains are also manufactured by Statler, though as being the Statler GTWs, it makes sense why they appear so similar, with similar seats, body shape, overall layout, and the presence of interior passenger information screens as well. Differing from the E-Bar trains, however, is the presence of an upper deck. Similar to the existing Lombardia bi-level coaches, these units feature two boarding doors on the lower deck, with stairs leading up to a middle deck where the cab is located, and then more stairs leading to an upper deck. A feature that you might not have known is that the middle level actually has a removable panel in the case that Caltrain decides to retrofit doors for high-level platform boarding. As it stands, however, level boarding of wheelchairs is still not possible and still requires the use of a ramp. Also differing from the Statler GTWs present on E-Bar is the presence of toilets, which are all ADA accessible, and bike cars, with all trades including two bike cars in their consist. Caltrain will also be offering amenities such as free Wi-Fi, power sockets at all seats, and overall a more comfortable ride for commuters and others alike. Caltrain estimates these trains to be put into service in September of 2024, where they will run from San Francisco 4th and King Street Station to Tamian Station. Caltrain will also be keeping some of their MP36PH-3C locomotives, as well as some of their Bombardier bi-level cars for service between Tamian and Gilroy, as the line is not electrified past Tamian. However, it is highly likely that the majority, if not all, of the F40PH locomotives and gallery cars will be sold or scrapped. If you missed seeing the new electric trains in San Jose, Caltrain will be offering more open houses in San Francisco and San Mateo counties in the coming months, so look out for that. Additionally, you can also catch a sneaky peek at them in the yard just past San Jose going towards Santa Clara. These new trains will be a major step up in service quality for Caltrain. I'm extremely excited, and hopefully, scenes like this will soon come to an end. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave me a like and subscribe. I will now ride my non-electric diesel train back home, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!